everybody, my name is Michelle and I'm gonna show you guys how I got a five in AP Art. Um, so yeah, I took AP Art 2D see my senior year and I took AP Art um, drawing my junior year. I got fives on both of them, but I'm just gonna show you guys my portfolio for AP Art 2D, which is the one I took my senior year. And practically AP Art has three sections. It has a quality, it has a concentration, and it has a breadth. And breadth and concentration are 12 art pieces each, and then quality is five art pieces, and it's just like five random pieces that you think show your artwork the best, like the most impressive ones. And yeah, it's just five random pieces that you think show your artwork the best, but it can be part of your concentration and your breadth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys my concentration, and then I'm gonna show you guys my breadth. And then we'll compare and I'll show you like my thought process behind all the artwork. So the concentration part of your portfolio is just going to be 12 pieces that correlate with one another, 12 pieces that kind of have a message or kind of show off one topic. So what I decided to do was um, like female abuse and it's shown through like men abusing women in certain things and the femininity like the same woman, she's wearing a pink wig in all of the art pieces. To show that you know your typical girl when you think of a girl you kind of think of pink that's what I thought of so yeah I'll go through them one by one so this is one of my favorite art pieces that I did I think it's kind of cute and it's practically you know she has a pink wig she's like the girl and she's like eating a brain like ice cream and like it's like a man hand I hope you can see it looks like manly fingers maybe um, and it's just like a man feeding her her ideas like she, she doesn't have any eyes like she can't even see for herself And she's just being fed like these ideas from this dude So yeah, I think this one's pretty cute. I'll insert like a picture somewhere And this is the first of my concentration art pieces that all have the same theme um This is the first one that I did this year. I mean not this year, but like when I started the year I started um, with it which was 2017 and it's just like these man fat hands that are all like wrinkly and stuff like that and like almost rotting and they're holding like all of her it's like her femininity her heart her eyes this is her money nobody can tell that's money but um it's money oh these two art pieces i do with color pencil you're gonna see that most of these are with color pencil because that's what i buy with the most i don't paint that's not my thing but i do color pencil quite well hopefully and yeah, I just think, I, I like this one a lot. Like, it's cute. Like, my art teacher liked it. So, this is my second art piece. Um, This one, I liked originally, but then I didn't like it that much because my art teacher didn't like it that much. And it's just like, it's like a girl, right? Hopefully you can tell it's a girl. And then, like, she has a mask on her. And the mask is like the eyes, is the guy's eyes. It's like, he blinds, he blinds her. She can't see for herself. She's just being fed his ideas. My art teacher said that it just kind of looks like there's a transparent blindfold on her, but that's not that's not what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like a blindfold and then it's like a guy's eyes being seen because he's controlling her thoughts and emotions. So yeah, I think this part is pretty good. I think the quality of this is pretty good. Um, this is one of my favorite art pieces. It's not the best technique that I've used ever, but I think the composition of it, I think it's quite nice. So it's like this dude, right? He's like making out with this, with this statue. And the whole point is that like, he abuses her and he like takes advantage of her sexuality to the point where she's just kind of bland. Like she lost so much of herself. All he, all she is to him is like a sexual object because you know, women are kind of sexualized sometimes in certain relationships. So he just kind of took away her whole sense of being and turned into something that that he can abuse and he can take advantage of. Yeah, I think this one's pretty cute. Maybe you did too. This one, it's okay. Um, it's just practically like this girl, right? She's like smoking, and then the guy comes out with this like little effect that I did. I did it with like charcoal, white charcoal, in case you're interested. And this was done in color pencil on black paper. And it's just like, sometimes, you know, when girls kind of get into relationships and they start like doing drugs and doing stuff and they start like living for this guy, that's kind of what it represents. I don't like the fingers in this very much, but I think this part's kind of cool. This one's 
This one is my least favorite out of all the ones that I did. Um, no one understands it. Um, it doesn't really look like anything. It's a this is an eyebrow, and this is a like a guy's eye, and then it's like she's trapped inside of there. It's like she's like pulling out like oh like that, and it's like pink because obviously she can't wear a pink wig because she's like you know in the eye, you know it makes only makes sense. But yeah, it's not you know you win some you lose some. This one I kind of like a little bit. I mean, I think the composition is kind of immature, but it's cute. Like, the technique is cute, you know. She's just feeling abused from all these different third parties. Like, this is like a woman's glove, so maybe it's like she's a woman feeling abused from, like, the rich or, like, feeling these pressures to be wealthy. And then this is, like, like a glove, because I'm sure a dude with the glove abused her. I don't know. And this is, like, a woman's hand. So, yeah, like, women can feel abused from different backgrounds in different areas but at the end of the day she's still being hurt and they're kind of like manipulating her face like grabbing her hair like pushing her eyeball up like his hand is inside of her mouth so yeah this one is what this one means and represents this one i think is pretty cool it's just practically like she's 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 laying on the floor somewhere and she's just kind of like messed up like she's kind of out of it and through the glass you see the reflection of the guy's eyes it's like he's controlling her it's like she's only being able to see through him and i think it's it looks i think it looks kind of cool so this one was also done in color pencil color pencil rocks what can i say this one was not done in color pencil this part back part was but that was not um and it's just it's like a snake and like the pink hair in back of it you know like the dude is like a snake he's sneaky and it was done with pen. I think it's pretty good. This one was one of the ones that I used for quality. I should include that I used for one of my five artworks in quality. So, yep, it's a snake. And I did it with pen. This one's just like normal. She's just like foaming in the mouth. To be honest, I was like running out of time. Like it was a week or like a few days before I had to submit it and I was running out of stuff and my art teacher was like you better you better come up with something quick honey and I just did a girl with a pink wig because I really like drawing faces if you know me you know I really like faces and I just put foam coming out of her mouth like no real explanation for this but makes sense this one is quite good it's like a big one see so I have some big artworks and it's just like this guy, he's like holding on to this girl's hip. And so much so that all she is is like, she's not even, she's not even herself anymore. She doesn't even have the pink wig. You don't see the pink wig anywhere in this artwork. It's like, the dude literally took control of all of her. All she is is like a sexual object to him. And he's like kind of, he's kind of mean looking. He's kind of looking at her like, girl, so. Yeah, that's that artwork. This is my favorite artwork. This one's really good. I think this one's really good. Um, this is definitely the best one that I did out of all my AP art artworks from both two years. I think it's the most realistic looking. And it's just like this old dude and he just like, he has his arms over over the pink wig. It's like he took control over her, like he's on an ant still looking. And I think it's very well done. And it was also done in color pencil, obviously, cause you know, color pencil has always been there for me. They're my number one supporter, so. Thank you so much, Color Pencil, for... This was definitely one of the ones that I used for my quality. Because, like I said before, you submit five of your art... Five of your artworks that you think are the best. And I thought this one was really good. So, yeah. I think it's it was really, really... Uh, I think this was really well done. Now I'm going to move on to Breath. And Breath is just any 12 art pieces that you feel show your technique the best you know 12 art pieces that you think it doesn't have to be a particular theme it's just stuff that you think is like really cool really groovy you like them a lot okay so i'm gonna start off with this big artwork for concentrate okay now i'm gonna start off with this big artwork for the first one for concentrate i mean for breath this one's breath um this is supposed to be a self-portrait i don't know if anybody sees it nobody does um I think it looks like me, whatever. It was supposed to look like me. This is supposed to be my face. And I wanted to, okay, this might sound kind of weird, but I was like, I had a dream that I was a mermaid, right? And I was like, wow, like I want to be a mermaid. I want to draw myself as a mermaid, but I was like a scary mermaid. So I was like, okay, I'm going to draw myself as a scary mermaid, right? 
So I drew this and then I started doing blue. And I don't know if you guys can tell like the tone difference between the blue here and then it becomes like green. It's because I ran out of this color pencil because I used so much of it. Like, you know, it was just overwhelming. And then my art teacher, she's like, and, I, and then I ran out of this greenish one and my art teacher's like, just like ombre, like blend it in, make it pink. So then I made it pink and then I made everything else. To be honest, I wish I would have made the background black because I think it would have looked better, but... Overall, I think it's a nice piece. You know, I think the technique is well done. I think it looks cool. This is supposed to be me. You know, put in the comment section if you think it looks like me. You know, if, if you think it looks, if we look kind of similar. You know, my mermaid self. Like, that's my scary mermaid self portrait. All right, so this is a bird. Um, I'm not going to say it's the best art piece I've ever done. This is also done in color pencil. He's cute. He's there. He's kind of chunky. My art teacher says this is the fattest bird she's ever seen in her life. Um, that's what it is. That's that's what it's going to be. You know, that's what it's going to be. So there you go. Now, oh, I have a funky story for this one that you might like. Um, so I drew this like, this like pen sketch because this is pen in case you can tell. I did like this pen sketch. And it wasn't it wasn't well done the proportions they weren't good so I drew like the hand right and the hand was like a normal hand but it was too long and my teachers like she's like oh my gosh it looks like she has a branch like for fingers and I was like bet so then I made them like a branch I tried to make them really look like a branch and then I made like little branches over them and then in the background this is just like some um Tombrow brush pens I think that's how you pronounce them so this is like a branch girl like she's cute she's like rubbing her eye with her branch i don't think that's sanitary but we love the aesthetic of this branch girl i think it's cute you know so thank you so much for inspiring this with popcorn this one i did my freshman year i was running out of art pieces didn't have enough threw this bad boy in here added a few more colorful lines you know this is this is like i'm pretty sure it's on my instagram and i had it here since like 2014 so but it's cute it's also done with color pencil as you can imagine and um this is just done with marker i think it's cute you know it's not the best one i've ever done because i did it when i was a lot younger but we make it work honey we make it work this should really be like this you should only see this it's supposed to be like a 3d effect i'm not sure if it really looks like a 3d effect this is like pen different pens this one's not that interesting but yep so this is one of my favorite artworks and it's kind of like a color wheel so this is like the red purple then blue then it goes to green then it goes to yellow orange and then it goes back to red so it's like a color wheel kind of and the whole point is that in a lot of my artworks if you haven't noticed it's a lot of close-ups like it's a lot of faces because like i said before i really like faces i really like to draw faces um and i was like you know, I'm just gonna draw some bodies, you know, some girls, some bodies. So I found these, like, I found these pictures on Pinterest that I thought were really cute. And I, and even though they didn't originate, like, this was not the same color that they were in the pictures, I kind of adapted them to try to, like, and changed the filter on them on my computer to try to make them look like the color they're, they're supposed to be. So I think it's, like, I think it's pretty interesting to look at. I don't know. But yeah, this is my second favorite one next to the creepy dude holding the girl's head. If you remember, if you've watched this video this long, thank you for tuning in. Um, this one I like a lot. It's done with pen and pastel. So it's, you know, it's a bit groovy or whatnot. There's no story behind this. I just saw this picture, decided to draw it in pen and then put some pastel in it. It's like she's in a haze or something like she's in a beautiful rainbow haze. I just think it's really cute. I think it's kind of Pinteresty, you know? Maybe I'll post it on Pinterest. I hope I don't get copyrighted because I did copy this picture from somewhere. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. This artwork I did my freshman year. I was running out of artworks, so I submitted it. That's it. Not impressive. It's done in charcoal. My art teacher likes it a lot because kind of charcoal is kind of hard to work with, but it's just a dude. It says fuckboy here. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's just a guy. Mm-hmm. 
This one I think is pretty cute. It's like from my sketchbook. Like I tore it apart from one of my sketchbook pages. And it's like there's like golden eyes and it says be the energy. And you know what? I when I'm in a bad mood, I just look at this drawing that I made here because I just feel so positive. Like she's just there. She's so she's like twins. Like it's just so cute, you know? Like so yeah. And I like it because it's either like golden or her eyes, whatever, you know, unisex eyes. That's what it is. And then my final artwork for my breath is this skeleton that I drew with pen. I think it looks pretty cute. And yeah, that's it. I'll also show you guys the five art pieces that I chose for my concentration. Oh, oh, I almost forgot, I almost forgot. Um, I said that there were 12 artworks and I was right, but for two of the artworks I didn't have because I actually drew them for people. Like one of them was this flower that I drew for my teacher. And then another one was like an artwork that I gave as a friend, that I gave to a friend like um, for a secret Santa thing. So I'm just gonna show you these two artworks that I did from the year before my junior year. Um, and I just think they're pretty cool. I also put them in my concentration. So it's this one, it was, both of them were done on black paper. There's no reason why I picked them. I just think these are pretty cool. And it's like, there's like a, a centipede. And she has like these blue tones and I think the toning of it's like really cute. Really jazzy and this one was pretty difficult for me to do, I'm not gonna lie. It took me like 12 hours, but I think the results speak for themselves. And this one was really cute. Also, I really like this one as well. And it's like, it's black paper and then it's like with white ink. So all of these are like white little dots. Like I didn't scrub scribble these in they're just like white little dots so this is kind of time consuming but not really since it was like a caterpillar there's no reason why i drew a caterpillar i just thought if i was gonna do some some pen work i'm gonna do a caterpillar because it's pretty easy to do and yeah i think this one's really nice i think you know the farther away you look at it the more it looks like a caterpillar the closer you look at it the more it looks like a deformed something but it really looks nice so now i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the five artworks that I chose for my for five the five artworks that I chose for my qualities. So again, quality is just like five random artworks that you like from either your concentration or your breath that you think show your ability the best, your best technique and your best composition. So I chose this one obviously because you guys know I really like it. It's super cute. And I chose this one which is the snake one because i think it's good to see like color pencil and pen and then i also chose this one because it has like pastel so i wanted to make sure the judges knew that i knew how to do other art works and other art types other than color pencil and then this was just color pencil because it's really cute and it's the color wheel again red purple blue green yellow orange red it's the color wheel it's not the right way the color wheel is actually inverted but still cute and then i chose this one also because it was like big and i liked it a lot and i thought the technique was good and i think it was really nice so yeah that is my art portfolio for ap art year 2017 to 2018 um i worked really hard in this art portfolio and yeah i'm really proud of everything that i was able to accomplish if you have any questions you can comment them if you're interested and I might answer. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you tune in again if I ever make another video in my life. Thank you. Have a nice day.